and welcome back to English for Specific Purposes Level A2. We are your hosts. I am Mr. Carter. And I am Miss Sophie. Previously, we have talked about psychology, we have discussed media, business, and we even talked about medicine. Now it's time to move to a new topic, tourism. But before that, as always, let's look at our agenda. Today we are going to start with a brief introduction. After that, we will learn some new vocabulary, which will be followed by reading about tourism and future. After that, we will have a quick grammar lesson, followed by a summary of the entire lesson and discuss everything we learned today. And after that, we will have everyone's favorite, or maybe just my favorite, homework. Kamarjoba, me sopovar eski Mr. Carteria. Etili iqos tkweni dabruneba chwens teleskolashi. Chwens inagakotilze kanwikhilet bevri tema. Avisaubret mediaze, avisaubret biznesze, avisaubret psikologiaze da medicinis tema sats ki shevekhet. Dges ki davitsqept akhal temas turizms. Tumtsa vidre usholot gakotilze gadavidotet rogorts qoveltvis ertat vnakhot dgevandeli dgis gegma. დღევანდელი დღე დაიწყება მოკლე შესავლით, ამის შემდეგ შევისწავლით ახალ სიტყვებს, შემდეგ წავიკითხავთ ტექსტს, ხოლო შემდეგ კი გვექნება გრამატიკული საარჯიშოები. ამის შემდეგ შევაჯამებთ ჩვენს გაკვეთილს და საბოლოოდ ყველასათვის საყვარელი ან მხოლოდ ჩვენთვის საყვარელი საშინაო დავალება. Shall we start? Let's begin. Mr. Carter, how important is tourism? Well, Miss Sophie, for some countries or some cities, tourism is the main source of making money, especially for countries that don't have many resources or are small or very beautiful. They need people to come and visit, and that is why tourism is very important. You are absolutely right, Mr. Carter. Ms. Sophie, what is the biggest tourist destination in Georgia? Well, Georgia is full of tourist destinations, but I think everyone's favorite is mountaineers areas. Um, if you like hiking, if you like extreme, probably you need to go to mountains. Tusheti, Khevsureti, Azbegi, these are the top ones. And Mr. Carter, you have a lot of experience in traveling. Can you please tell us what is the best way to travel when you are visiting a country? Well, Miss Sophie, if you are traveling a long distance or you are traveling over an ocean, the best way is probably by plane. The second best way might be by ship or boat, but plane is definitely the best. If you are traveling a short distance, maybe just on land, then you might find that the best way to travel is bus or train. Or if you have a car, just drive. That's right, Mr. Carter. Now, let's move on to our first set of vocabulary. Our very first word is tour. Tour is a noun and in Georgian it means Uri, Mr. Carter, can you please explain what is tour in English? Definitely, Miss Sophie. Tour is a journey in which you visit several different places. You constantly keep moving. For example, if you take a tour of Asia, you might stop in China and then go on to India, seeing all the countries in between. That's right. Tour, Turi. Tour. Turi. Tour. Turi. Let's look at our next word. Our next word is also travel related. Trip. Trip is a noun and in Georgian it means mgzauropa. Trip is an occasion where you go or travel to one location and spend time there and then come back to where you were originally. A trip is often seen as vacation or holiday. Trip, Xauropa. Trip, Xauropa. Trip, Xauropa. Let's look at our next word now, which is check in. Check in is a verb and in Georgian it means registratsis gavla. 
Check-in is when you arrive at a place that you have arranged to stay and give your personal details so they know who you are and that way they can help you and accommodate you while you stay there. Absolutely right, Mr. Carter. And if you are traveling by plane, you probably need to go to the airport to check in. In other words, to register yourself. Exactly, Ms. Sophie. Check in, registrație scavla. Check in, registrație scavla. Check in, registrație scavla. Our next word is departure. Departure is noun and in Georgian it means kamgzaureba. Departure is very easy to remember. It simply means an occasion in which you leave a place. For example, if you go to an airport and fly away, that is a departure. Absolutely. Departure kamgzaureba. Departure kamgzaureba. Departure kamgzaureba. Our next word, I think, is the opposite of departure, which is, you probably guessed already, arrival. Arrival is a noun, and in Georgian it means chamosla. Arrival, like Miss Sophie said, is the opposite of departure. Instead of going to a place, you come to a place. For example, if you get on a plane and leave, that is departure. When the plane lands, that is arrival. Arrival, chamoswa. Arrival, chamoswa. Arrival, chamoswa. Our next word is layover. Layover is a verb, and in Georgian it means gzaurobisas druebit kasacerebeli atgile. A layover is a short stop somewhere between two parts of a journey. For example, let's say you are flying from London to Tokyo. You might have a layover in Qatar. Right. Mr. Carter, what was the longest layover in your experience? Well, Miss Sophie, I once had a 13-hour layover while I was in Singapore. That's not a brief stop at all. <laughs> no, it is not. It was actually not very fun. <gasps> layover, gzaurobisas droebit gasacerebeli adgili. Layover, gzaurobisas droebit gasacerebeli adgili. Layover, gzaurobisas droebit gasacerebeli adgili. Now, let's move on to our vocabulary activity in which we will match the words with the most correct sentences that they fit. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Let's start. We went on a blank of North Africa and saw the pyramids. Mr. Carter, what is the best word for this sentence? Well, Miss Sophie, the pyramids are one place, so you might think it is a trip, but North Africa is a large place that contains many different countries. Remember, if you are traveling to different places at one time, then it is not a trip, but a tour. You are absolutely right. And the first answer is tour. tour. Let's look at our next sentence now. Our blank was delayed because of bad weather. We got to our destination three hours late. That's a lot of time. <laughs> that does not sound like fun. <laughs> not at all. Mr. Carter, can you please look at some keywords and tell us what is the best answer for this one? Well, Miss Sophie, the keywords in this sentence are got to our destination three hours late. So, it could be either arrival or departure. But in this case, I think when you go to a destination and you're late, that is arrival. You are absolutely right. Let's look at our next sentence now. We planned this blank 
last year and now we finally got to go. What do you think? What, what is the right answer? Well, Miss Sophie, the way this sentence is written makes it seem like this is a vacation or a holiday. Remember, a vacation or a holiday is normally when you travel to one location. And when you travel to one location, it is not a tour, but a trip. trip. And the right answer is trip. trip. <laughs> Let's look at our next sentence. Our blank is at five o'clock, so we need to be there three hours earlier in order to go through security. Mr. Carter, where you need to go three hours earlier in order to get a security? The airport. Airport. And why do you go to airport three hours early? For a departure. That's absolutely right. For the departure, you always need to take some time in advance, right? Definitely. At least three hours every time, especially for flights to different countries. Absolutely. Now let's look at our next sentence. The blank line was very long. What do you think can be very long? What kind of line can be long? Well, Miss Sophie, if we look at our words and we think about the word line, layover doesn't fit. Layover is a time period. A time period can't be a line while check-in is a line that you have to go through in order to get what you need to either stay someplace or have a departure. Absolutely right, Mr. Carter. And the right answer for this one is check, check in. in. Let's look at our next sentence. On our way from London to Tokyo, we had a blank in Dubai. This is exactly, well, not exactly, but very similar to the example I gave earlier. A layover is when you stop in one place on the way to another place. Absolutely right, Mr. Carter. Layover is the right answer for this sentence. And now let's move on to our second set of vocabulary related to the reading. Shall we begin? Let's go. Our first word is delay. Delay is a noun and in Georgian it means sheperheba. A delay is a situation in which something happens much slower or much later than expected. When you travel a lot, you should expect that you will encounter delays because not everything runs according to plan. Absolutely right, Mr. Carter. <laughs> delay means sheperheba. Delay sheperheba. Delay sheperheba. Our next word is accessible. Accessible is an adjective and in Georgian means khilmisatsudomi. Accessible is very easy to remember. It simply means something that anyone can use or obtain. There are a few things that has to be accessible for everyone, like water and the food, right? Of course, and shelter and electricity. All these things should be accessible in order for you to live a normal life. Life, true. Accessible, khelmisatsudomi. Accessible, khelmisatsudomi. Accessible, khelmisatsudomi. Our next word is retire. Retire is a verb and in Georgian it means samsahuridan an tanamdebobidan gatatgoma. Retire is when a person stops working especially because they have reached the age that they are officially too old to work. In the United States, the retirement age is 66. When you reach 66, you can relax and enjoy the rest of your life. Retire, tanam de bobidan an samsahuridan gadatgoma. Retire, tanam de bobidan an samsahuridan gadatgoma. Retire. Shall we look at the next word? Let's do this. Travel agent. 
travel agent is a noun and in Georgian it means turistuli agenti. A travel agent is someone whose job is to arrange holidays, vacations, trips or tours. Travel agents work in an office that is often called a travel agency. Yeah, travel agent might be a very important person for you if you're planning to go on a holiday. Exactly, Miss Sophie. <laughs> they are what you need to make sure your trip goes smoothly. <laughs> That's true. Travel agent, tourist uli agenti. Travel agent, tourist uli agenti. Travel agent, tourist uli agenti. Let's look at our next word, which is recreation. Recreation is a noun and it means anything that is done for pleasure or enjoyment. Recreation in Georgian means dasveneba an kantvirtva. Mr. Carter, what is your favorite form of recreation? Well, Miss Sophie, it depends on how much energy I have. If I have lots of energy, my favorite form of recreation is playing basketball. But if I'm feeling a little tired, I enjoy reading books or watching films. <laughs> These are great forms of recreation. Recreation dasuneba an kandurtwa. Recreation dasuneba an kandurtwa. Recreation dasuneba an kandurtwa. Our next word is international. International is an adjective and in Georgian it means sairtashoriso. International means involving several different countries. For example, if you have an international flight, it means you fly from one country to another country. Very true. International, sairtashoriso. International, sairtashoriso. International, sairtashoriso. I think this was the last word in this set of vocabulary. It was, Miss Sophie. Now, let's move on to our reading activity. So, Mr. Carter, the ways of traveling are changing really fast, right? Yes, they are, Miss Sophie. So, the ways of traveling are quickly changing and more money allows more accessibility of transport that changes our habits of travel. Nowadays, people can travel further at air transport despite its past reputations of delays, cancellations and so on has already improved amazingly and it has made many places more accessible. Now people can go to the faraway corners of the world in comfort for affordable prices. Another thing that made traveling easier is the internet. Now people can book an entire vacation on the internet. You don't even have to go to a travel agency. You can just sit in front of your computer and do everything electronically. But for those that do not have time or patience, there are still huge international travel agencies that can help. They will arrange everything for you, any type of holiday, scuba diving in the ocean, skiing in the mountains, or trekking across the countryside, or any other kind of experience you prefer. Our working habits will change too. Research shows that we will have more free time in the future than we have now. The working week will be shorter and more and more people will start working from home, have flex time or just work part time. And also there are people who will retire early but still will have good money to spend on their leisure. Different kinds of advertising and information about places we have never heard of will also increase the number of tourists. There will be specifically prepared holiday program advertisements on TV, even separate channels devoted to various holiday destinations. Also, all the magazines and brochures published annually, as well as the internet, will let people know where to go, or maybe where not to go if they want to avoid crowds. Recreational activities are going to change as well. 
Having a holiday will no longer mean just lying on a beach. Water sports, high mountain skiing, scuba diving, all these activities will become much more accessible. That's right, Mr. Carter. Now, let's move on to our reading activity in which we will determine if a sentence is true or false based on the text of what we read. Ahla ki rogurs Carter matkwa gadauidet kitkhuis davalebaze. Ekranze motsemuli iknebat tsinadadebebi da ertad unda gansazvrot tsinadadeba shesabameba tu ara texts. Tu tsinadadeba shesabameba texts mashin vambopt. True? Kholo tu tsinadadeba ar shesabameba texts mashin vambopt. False. Let's start. Due to better transport, people can travel further to their holiday destinations. Mr. Carter, do you remember anything from the reading about this? Yes, Ms. Sophie. I believe because although airlines still have problems, they've gotten much better, which will allow people to travel more and farther. You are absolutely right, which makes the sentence true. true. Let's look at our next sentence now. Booking a holiday on the internet is difficult to organize by yourself. What do you think? Is this sentence true or false? Well, Miss Sophie, I think it depends on the person, but because of the internet has made everything so accessible, you can easily book a holiday by yourself. That's what I'm doing all the time. So this sentence is false. Let's look at our next sentence now. International travel agencies can organize any kind of holiday. Well, Miss Sophie, international travel agencies plan for you to do anything you want, whether you want to spend time in the mountains or by the ocean. So this sentence must be true. true. And you are right, Mr. Carter. This sentence is true. Now let's look at our very last sentence. Leisure activities will become less popular. Well, Miss Sophie, I think this one is pretty obvious. Everyone likes having fun and everyone likes leisure activities. I don't understand how they could become less popular. <laughs> it will be probably become more popular Ex in the future. Exactly, Miss Sophie. So this is false. Now, let's move on to our grammar activity. grammatic is not Miss Sophie, I see here two sentences, but I also see that there are some highlighted words. Can you explain to me why these words are highlighted? Definitely, Mr. Carter. But first, let's look at these two sentences. Money and air transport will change our habits of traveling even more. Recreational activities are going to change as well. The first sentence shows future simple tense and the second one shows the structure of be going to. Amor tsinadadebidan pirvel tsinadadebashi motsemulis mna gamokhatavs momaval martiv dros. Kholo, meure tsinadadeba ki achvenebs konstruktsias be going to. We use future simple when we want to make predictions about the future. This summer will be a peak season. We also use future simple when we want to express facts about the future. For example, the new school will be the biggest in this region. Another use of the future simple is to make offers or requests. For example, I will make your birthday cake or I promise we will have a good time in Paris. In the negative, we always use won't, which is a contracted form of will not. I won't try to stop you. I will not try to stop you. We need to start with an auxiliary verb will to form questions. Will you be my friend? We use be going to structure to express intentions. For example, I am going to be an engineer. We use be going to to express predictions about the future, but based on the evidence that is visible now at the time of speaking. For example, it's going to rain. I see lots of clouds in the sky. 
we form negative and interrogative forms of be going to exactly the same way we practiced with the present continuous. For example, I am not going to a party or are you coming to the party? Now let's look at some exercises. On the screen you will see sentences. We need to change the form of the verb so that it fits the sentence. Scuba diving be one of the most popular sports. Scuba diving is going to be one of the most popular sports. The weather change a lot in the future. The weather will change a lot in the future. We need to go now it snow soon. Roads might get closed. We need to go now. It's going to snow soon. Roads will get closed. We need to form a question form now. Fashion change in next 10 years. Will fashion change in next 10 years? As you can see, here we need a negative form. I not write all the reports next week. I won't write or will not write all the reports next week. And now let's move on to our summary. The first thing we went over today was vocabulary, followed by a reading about tourism and accessibility and how traveling will change in the future. After that, we had a grammar activity about the future simple tense. Modit erta chewa jamot dreondeli gakwatili. Dres chwen shewisaulet ahali sitwabi tsawi kitret teksti da wisaubret grammatika ze mumaval droze. Now, let's move on to everyone's favorite homework. For your homework, we want you to write a paragraph about your favorite travel destination. You need to submit your homework on the address given on the screen. Do not forget to use vocabulary and the grammar that we have taught you today. And, as always, we have prepared a template for you. But please, do not copy-paste. We are sure you can do better than us. Our next lesson will be about tourism again, so please don't miss it. See you the next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye.